Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. Remy Nkono does not let go of the assassins of the journalist Martinez Zogo. Ever since the host of the program Ambuteyash was kidnapped, the RFI consultant Remy Nkono, in exile, began by denouncing this umpteen attempt to physically eliminate a media man in Cameroon. He shouted a lot at the wolves, but the latter finally returned to the sheepfold. Remy Ngono had a head start on everyone since the affair began. He had already mentioned several times on his YouTube channel that Martinez Zogo, of whom his family and the press had no further news, was going to be killed by the white-collar criminals who defeat all those who tried to stand in their way. The tweller Remy Ngono, was as sure as Jean-Pierre Mugbelinga that the ministers Laurent Esso and Louis Paul Motaze were not happy that Martinez Zogo regularly denounced them on Amplitude FM for budget lines 94 and 65. The journalist again made new revelations on social networks. In his post, he stated, This Tuesday, February 21, 2023, it is year 9 of the sudden death of Dr. Charles Sylvester Ateba Eyene on February 21, 2014 at the University Hospital Center of Yaoundé. He was only 42 years old and his appearances on TV and radio sets made Cameroon tremble like Martinez Zogo. Charles Sylvester Ateba Eyene, thunderous in his analysis, sharp in his postures, a little too revolutionary for the taste of certain members of his political family, the CPDM. At some point during one of his broadcasts, Charles Sylvester Ateba Eyene made the claim that the minister Laurent Esso is responsible for the death of the journalist Bibi Ngota. Some time after, Charles Sylvester Ateba Eyene was poisoned. Today, the same Laurent Esso who sits at the Ministry of Defense is also cited among the sponsors of the assassination of the journalist Martinez Zogo. Charles Sylvester Ateba Eyene holds a PhD in political communication, was a teacher at the Higher School of Information and Communication Sciences and Techniques of the University of Yaoundé II, Swa. He had published 25 books on themes as diverse as they were varied. 